叫 John Harry， 来自巴基斯坦的学生。我今年二十五岁。我二零幺三年来中国学习。我在湖南师范大学学医。我的专业，我的专业是学医。我呃现在在湖南省人民医院学习和实习。我获得了湖南省奖学金和湖南师范大学外国留学生奖学金。我跟外国人，我跟外国学生上了医学课。我讲的是课是主治、主治学、生理学、病理学和生物化学。我跟小孩子们，我在中国跟小孩子们讲英语课。我上英语课的学生从三岁到十六岁。我在湖南省人民医院和长沙中心医院。跟护士们和医生们上英语课。好，谢谢大家。Good morning, dear viewers. I'm your host John Harry, and today we are going to discuss one of the most important disease from the neurology department. As you have seen that in our last videos, in our last programs, we have discussed many important diseases. But in our today's discussion, we have specially invited one of our doctor from the neurology department because you know that. Uh, nervous system, our brain is a very delicate organ, and very little problem in our brain cause massive complications. So that's why today we have invited Dr. Vivian in our studio. Dr. Viz Dr. Vivian is an associate professor, and she's working in Hunan Provincial People Hospital for almost last nine years. So today we're going to discuss with Dr. Vivian that what we are going to study today. Uh, what kind of disease we're going to study today, and how we're going to prevent and manage ourselves from this kind of diseases. Good morning, Dr. Vivian. Good morning, Harry. How are you today? Yes, fine, thank you very much. Okay, Dr. Vivian, can you please tell us uh, what we're going to study today? Yes, today we're going to learn the most common disease of neurology. Mm. That is called ischemic stroke. Okay, ischemic stroke. Mm. So yes. can you please briefly explain what is ischemic stroke? Uh, uh, ischemic stroke is means uh, decreasing uh, blood supply and oxygen supply to the brain, okay. which caused by the blockage in an artery okay. to the brain, okay. uh, often caused by the blood clot okay. and some fatty deposits. Okay, so you mean that ischemic stroke is a disease in which the brain cannot read, uh, blood cannot read to our brain, right? Yes. Okay, and that causes complications, right? Yes. Okay, now what are the causes? Why the patient have the ischemic stroke? Why the reasons? Yeah, the reasons. And the reasons, and we mentioned there's mm. a blockage mm. in the artery. I think some high risk, uh, high risk factors mm. will um, make people, uh, patients, to get uh, diseases such as uh. the high cholesterol levels, oh. hypertension or hypertension, okay. um, diabetes, okay. smoking, and okay. also age and smoking, uh, age and fat. Oh, okay, so you mean that hypertension, high cholesterol aging and smoking and uh, uh, diabetes, right? Yes. So these are the, some of the factors which can cause uh, ischemic stroke, right? Yes. Now once the patient have the ischemic stroke, what could be the complication? What are the signs and symptoms in this kind of patient? How we know that the patient have the ischemic stroke? Yeah, so the symptoms is sudden mm. and uh, they are include the muscle weakness okay. and paralysis uh, unusual sensations and loss of sensations, okay. and also the language difficulties, okay. uh, the um, and some uh, vision problems, okay. and also even you the patients may cannot to think normally, okay. and uh, the loss of um, coordination and uh, balance okay. and even dentist. Oh, then okay. this also is the symptoms uh, okay. from this disease. So you mean that the patient lose the balance and the coordination, right? Yes. It means that once the patient has the ischemic stroke, they cannot walk properly, right? Yes. Oh, they okay. walk the mill to fall down or will walk to uh, one side. Oh, okay. Um, 
Yeah, they get a lot of calorie. Uh, so it's very difficult to keep the balance during yes. walking, right? Yes. Okay. So how we can diagnose these kind of patients once the patient has ischemic stroke? How we can diagnose these kind of patients? Mm, as we mentioned before, mm -hmm. if the patient have a symptoms mm -hmm. and then he go back to the hospital, mm -hmm. we will do some physical examinations okay. and some brain imaging okay. examinations. And finally, we may um, diagnose the ischemic stroke. Okay. Okay. So we do. Uh, we need to do the like brain imaging, like CT or MRI, right? Yes. Okay. 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 That's right. So once we diagnose this patient, how we can manage or how we can treat such kind of patients? The most important and the efficient treatment is uh, some balances within 4.5 hours okay. after onset of symptoms okay. mentioned before okay. and the further interventional therapy if necessary in 24 hours which is based on the uh, nearest, newest um, guideline for the ischemic stroke okay. uh, from the US. Okay. So you mean that the best treatment is thrombolysis, right? Mm -hmm. Thrombolysis. Yes, thrombolysis. And it must be done within 24, uh, 4 point five hours, right? Uh, yes. 4 point five hours? Yes. Okay. So what kind of thrombolysis drugs we can use, for example? Uh, we can use uh, R RTPA. Oh, RTPA. Yes, RTPA okay. is the best choice. Okay, okay. Yes. And aspirin and warfarin, what do you think about those? Oh, that will be good after the thrombolysis. Oh, okay. Yes. So you mean that the first for the uh, within twenty four uh, within four point five hours, first we need to give RTPA, right? Yes. For thrombolysis. Yes. It can uh, dilute. It can dissolve the thrombosis very quickly, right? Yes. Okay. And after that, for a long term treatment, we use statin and warfarin, right? Yes. Okay. So how we can prevent this ischemic stroke? Like like you are in the working in the neurology department, right? and maybe many of the patients have this ischemic stroke, mm -hmm. right? So how we can prevent ourselves from this kind of diseases? No, that's very important. Firstly, mm -hmm. uh, I know everybody will know keep the health lifestyle mm -hmm. and do exercise and keep uh, healthy food mm -hmm. and uh, avoid high blood and uh, high sugar and fat uh, food. Uh -huh. And uh, secondly, if you get any kind of disease such as hypertension, uh -huh. diabetes, uh -huh. and you have a high level uh, cholesterol levels, uh -huh. you should uh, treat the disease. Uh -huh. And uh, as for the patient who have history of ischemic stroke, mm -hmm. you should take mm, mm, drugs such as the aspirin and standard. Oh, okay. And finally, mm -hmm. uh, we have a surgery in the angioplasty, a plastic oh. to open the blocked arteries. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So can we can we do such kind of easy easy surgery? I think it must be very difficult surgery, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Can we do this surgery at our hospital, Les Bihong Nam Provincial People's Hospital? Yes, of course. In uh, you can choose Hunan Provincial Hospital because we are have the most advanced uh, machine okay. and famous doctors very okay. good at uh, interventional therapy, oh, okay. such as Dr. Uh -huh. Xiaoping from okay. the neurologic department oh, okay. and the vice president and the surgeon oh, okay. Hua Xiang. Oh, okay. yes. So you suggest uh, that if the patient have the uh, ischemic stroke, right? You advise them to choose our hospital so that you can provide a very good treatment method for them, right? Yes, I will prefer you to choose our hospital, but if you have the emergency, you should remember time is brain. Time is brain. Yes, time is brain. Okay. Uh, if you and your friend around you have the similar uh, symptoms mentioned okay. before, okay. Um, call 120 as quickly as you can and go to the nearest hospital. Oh, okay. You can choose hospital. Uh, in, you can choose our hospital if you can reach our hospital in okay. one hour, okay. or transfer to our hospital by okay. the local hospital. So you mean that? So you mean that once the patient get the symptom, right? He must need to go to the nearest hospital as quickly as possible, yes. right? So the time is very important. We yes. need to keep the time limit, right? Yes. yes. Okay. Thank you very much, Dr. Vivian. Thank, Thank you very you. much, dear viewers. As you have seen, that Dr. Vivian has explained the ischemic stroke in a good detail. Now it's your responsibility to take care of yourself and your loved ones. If you have any question or suggestion, you can email us. See you next time with a new topic. Till then, take good care of yourself and your loved ones. Stay tuned. Have a good day. Bye-bye.